We found another gym right here in Arizona, but we'll be on the road for what Google says is two and a half hours. We know by now that that'll be closer to three and a half hours RV time. We're headed to The canyon was so much fun, and I'll be excited to come back. Leaving, we skirt around the edge, getting glimpses of its beauty and grandeur as we move out. It doesn't take long to get up into the top of the state, and the roads and views are just impressive. Mother Nature sure got this state right. Riz is a character and definitely has an opinion on everything. At one year, he is basically a toddler with all the trappings that go along with it. Here, he's gi giving me his best advice on how to navigate this road. What would we do without him? This is Antelope Point Marina RV Park, and oh my gosh, it's new and sparkling beautiful.
You check in online before actually heading out, reserving your choice of open campsites, then just drive to your site and someone will swing by in a golf cart to verify your info. Nice! If you don't have a National Park Pass, there is a charge to enter the road to the park and marina. Have it ready anytime you come back to the park. We snagged a spot which backs up to the barbecue pergolas and made ourselves at home on the full-sized concrete pads and patios with our own beautiful faux grass lawns. If you noticed in the drone shots, the lake, Lake Powell, is in dire states. I mean, go back over those shots and see just how far down the boat ramp has gone due to the declining water levels. Such a shame. There are two, well, three big attractions nearby, if you count the lake. The other two being Horseshoe Bend and another photographer's dream, Antelope Canyon. You've seen their pictures and videos in nearly every travel creator's channel. Now, we're only here for a few days and are probably not going to get to all the beauty here. But either way, it's going to be great. Horseshoe Bend's parking lot is just a few yards off Highway 89, right before you turn to head towards the Marina Park off State Route 98. 89, 98. There is a fee to park, and your National Park Pass won't work here. You see, the parking lot is on city land. Very sneaky, Paige. It is about three quarters of a mile walk out, and that's downhill, and there are several ramadas to sit in and drink the water that you bring. Yeah, bring water. Just remember that coming back is uphill and somewhat more taxi, but there is a steady stream of visitors in and out. The view is stunning, and everyone there is vying for the perfect selfie. Pro tip, the guardrails are in a beautiful spot to film, but there are not many guardrails that is and the drop to the 270 degree bend in the river is about a thousand feet straight down and yes a few folks have been awarded the darwin award posthumously here so be careful even the winds are tricksy here We know that some folks think sunrise is the perfect time, and others sunset, so we split the difference. Yeah, it was hot, but that didn't seem to deter folks from coming anyways. 12 noon. We made it back none the worse for the wear and started getting ready to leave in the morning. Gonna have to come back and check out Antelope Canyon, which is just a couple of miles down the road to the park, and maybe rent a kayak while there's still water in the lake. I hear you can actually get into Antelope Canyon the back way too, by using a kayak.
Next week, we'll be in another amazing national park further north. See if you can guess which one. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell just below our videos. Go ahead, make my day. Go ahead, make my day. We'll see you next week right here on OLT, our license to travel. Please, travel safe.